how are you doing? My name is Sarah. I own a small soap company in Minneapolis, Minnesota. So if this is your first time here, welcome. This week I am doing a semi make it like a making video. However, it's uh, kind of like a more little bit of a vlog style as well. It's the first time that I'm doing the Grinch soap and it's early in the year, I know. However, you know, we gotta plan ahead. There's a couple things that I think I would change or that I'm just gonna like kind of be a little bit more in tune to when I make them for real. If this is something that you have made before, tips and tricks and all that stuff, absolutely welcome in the comment section below. If you haven't made it yet and it's something that you wanna do and you have questions, open up that conversation. Any of the things that I use for the most part are in the description box and links, uh, anything that's like off of Amazon and whatnot. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy this week's video and I will see you next week. I am making soaps. I'm not really filming anything. Um, I might film a little bit just because I am going to pull out, I don't know where I put it anywhere, uh, the Brambleberry um, Heart Mold. And we are going to attempt the Grinch. I also got, I know you guys it's early, but you, you need to be early. Um, Cause I would say that I probably, I probably start putting my fall stuff out at the end of July and people love it. Um, I'm usually able to push like some of my fall stuff that is leftovers from last year. I put that out in July and start pushing that out. Um, I mean, it's still the same beautiful, if not even better quality bar than it was last year. So, so this was the stamp. I got it on Etsy. Ah, terrible lighting, but I got it on. It's just a 3D. I prefer these acrylic stamps better, but um, some of it is probably just a learning curve. And then this is how it came out in the soap. And then we'll do the classic heart in the corner. That'll, you know, pull through the soap. And then I'll probably do some of them that have the frosting on the top and some of them that don't. So some of them might be like just this actual size. And then... Um, and this, I just had this scrap that was still soft that I wanted to practice with that. And then um, some of them I'll do the frosting with the top like a little Santa hat. So I'm finally doing it, you guys. And if, let's see here. Today is the day of me not wanting to actually do anything. But I know I have to get it done. And then once I do it, like once I get going, then I'm fine. I'm sure you guys all understand that. I don't know. In the comments below, like what is it that like makes you get the motivation? Is it that you want it? Like for me today, it's that I actually am excited to do a Grinch soap and try it. I just don't want to do the steps before, like the smaller steps, like the heart mold and that kind of stuff beforehand. I would just like my heart mold to already be done. So I don't really know how to keep this upright. So, cause this top end is gonna be, and I think I got this pretty flush. One little spot in here I can't get. So we're just gonna, it's my first time doing this. So it's kind of experimental on a personal note. Yeah, that's not gonna stay up. I used to keep my earrings in a thing like this and then just like hang them around the edges. And then I was too lazy to actually figure out a home for these rocks or get rid of them. So, um, I think I found a purpose. A little dusty. But it's on the outside, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. So it's going to be heavy. It's going to keep it up in the thingy. And I think I just found a purpose for those rocks. And then I'm going to do the these guys. I
notes the next day. A little nervous. I hope this comes out really pretty. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. Okay, she, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And she's... Yeah. Oh my gosh. So I think I just have to go through and just take out that, but like... There. Oh, it's so nice. We'll just pop her down the middle. Let's see here. Can I take that out then? Mm. I guess that a knife would probably do the trick. I'm sure if I had the mold sealed just a little bit better, this would probably not be a step I'd have to do. But it's okay. We'll learn. grand scheme of things like from soap to soap like you'd never actually see that anyway but <gasps> alright you guys the Brambleberry heart mold 10 out of 10 alright guys so um, I already made so I already made the heart mold for today or the column for the um, Grinch soap and then the mold that I did use for that column is going to be the Brambleberry and it's four and a half ounces, I believe. Um, this, with the mold that I use, is much longer. So I think I'm gonna try, um, I'm gonna make another one today. It is a Brambleberry. It's the heart mold, column mold. I forgot how much it was. I'm gonna shoot for the comfort and joy. I think I'm gonna do a couple different fragrances. I might do a couple of my holiday ones, like the Winter Wonderland, the comfort and joy, and well, maybe just those two. I might pick like a kid set, like maybe for fun, do like a blue raspberry slushy because I feel like this is gonna also be for kids. So, so I don't know how to pronounce that word actually, but um, nurture soap, that's the green I'm gonna shoot for. And then trial by fire. I feel like the Grinch, like when you look it up on like, you just kind of search images. I feel like lots of different like shades of green kind of come out. So I just thought this was gonna be super pretty. So we're gonna go with that one. I like the bright better anyway, so.
Um, let's see the weights. So I did end up finding the round tip. So we're gonna try to get this to accelerate and harden a little bit faster. So we are going to stick blend the heck out of it. So it gets harder faster. But hey, Grinch soap. Let's see how my first run on this went. Let's a little bit more. I don't know, we'll see. Let's just unmold this baby and see what she looks like. 
Oh, so exciting. You can see the heart. Oh, it smells divine. So I use that comfort and joy if I remember right. Ooh That is a heavy bar of soap. It's been a very long time since I've done any piping. So you'll notice that the bar, or like the whole loaf, it tilts really bad. Like the wires pull it down. And you're gonna get like this little ledge on the side of your bar if you're using a multi-bar cutter. And that's why I wanna make sure that the frosting is all the way up, like just straight up the side. It doesn't kind of pour over a little bit because I will lay the bar the next time. I'm gonna lay them on their side. So that way the bottom will face me when I cut them. Eek! I don't know if I'm gonna change anything. Like from this way, I think it looks pretty yeah, so outside of like the heart, just making sure the heart lays a little bit more, I think I really like it in the corner. Because remember, I have, a, like my stamp is, it takes up the whole thing, so it's not like I can push like his face off to the side. I have to, it's, his face will actually cover some of the, cover some of the soaps. Oh my goodness. That's so all right, let's try one where we do push it off to the corner a little bit so that way there's more like just plain heart. I don't think I need to press this in. Ah, I'm stuck as much as I think I do. And obviously I'll be waiting a couple days so it'll be a little harder. Okay, I think I might have got a little excited about that one. Okay, come out. Okay, so I don't know if I'm gonna love this stamp as far as it being flat. Oh, maybe I will. I mean, that might be really time consuming. You guys. Oh my gosh. So thank you for watching this week's video on The Grinch and hopefully it's something that you may consider adding to your line or purchasing. I will be having them for pre-sale pre uh, come probably late July. And then feel free to subscribe. Would love to see you throughout the season here or on my journey. And then any likes would be greatly appreciated. And if you have anything to contribute to conversation, would love to hear those. Have a great afternoon and I will talk to you next week. Bye.